Hey guys, Orly Waba here, founder of Life Fest Inside. And I want to thank each and every one of you for deciding to kick off your week with me on the Weekly Kindness Kickoff with Orly, coming at you at the beginning of every week, where I do reading from my book, Kindness Boomerang, How to Save the World and Yourself Through 365 Daily Acts. And then I give you, myself, and all of us out there, an exciting kindness challenge based on the reading. Make sure that you tune in next week because I'm going to be doing the raffle where one person on the channel is going to win two copies of the book, one for themselves and then one to gift forward to someone else. How do you win? Simply by engaging on the platform, leaving your thoughts, your feedback about the act of kindness that week, what you did or what was maybe a little bit hard for you to do. All right, so make sure you check that out. You can also get your copy of the book directly on lifevestinside.com or picking it up from one of the online retailers, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, IndieBound, iTunes, Target. All of the funds go directly to the nonprofit to help us continue to spread kindness in the world. So check it out and grab your copy. Before I jump into the reading, I want to tell you about two quick things that are going on within the next week that you may be able to take part in. One of them, on February 9th, we have our first official monthly dance party. Every single month, uh, from now until Dance for Kindness, we're going to be doing a monthly dance party where each month we choose a new song, a new dance style, and our awesome choreographer, Marvin Casey, is going to be creating the dance, and it'll be up on the website for each and every one of you to see. You can register to learn the dance moves, and then once a month, we're going to be all getting together via Zoom to do the dance as a group, which is going to be so much fun. This came about because of this year's past Dance for Kindness. It was completely virtual and everybody loved it. So we said, let's do this on a monthly basis. Now, the great part is after we, you know, break out into dance, we're going to actually be engaging in three acts of kindness that I'm going to be giving to each and every person on that we're going to do it together while we are on Zoom, which is going to be really exciting, and we'll be able to share about our experiences. So here's what you have to do. Just go to danceforkindness.com. Directly on the website, on the homepage, you will see the information about the dance party. You could fill in your information. You can sign up. If you sign up, you'll also be entered to win some goodies. It's completely free, and then you'll be able to get the dance. You'll learn the dance steps, and it's next week. It's February 9th, so make sure that you head there now, you could do this with your friends, your family, your colleagues, your students, whatever it may be, and forward this along to anybody else you think that may be interested in joining. All right, so that's the dance party. The other thing that we have going on is actually gonna be connected to this week's, uh, to this week's act. So there is an awesome platform, which I'll share more with you about shortly, called VidHug, and we are working on creating another video collaboration. This video collaboration is called A Tribute to Our Elders, and I would love to invite you guys to submit a video, a short 10 to 15 second video that can be incorporated into this global video collaboration. So what, what is it? Basically what we're asking people to do, and you'll be able to see the link, I'll leave the link in the description uh, below, so make sure you check it out, or if you or I got this email from somebody that sent it to you, you can also just send me over an email, orly, O-R-L-Y, at lifevestinside.com, and I'll make sure, just say, hey, I want to know about the tribute to our elders, and I'll send you the link that you can join. So what is this exactly? Basically, we're looking to create a tribute for the elders in our lives, okay, those that have truly gone through different life experiences and the lessons that they've taught us, whether they're here with us still or whether, whether maybe they've passed, and so what we're asking you to do, we're challenging you to do, is to make a 10 to 15 second video through the link that I'll be providing you, that'll be in the description, of who you are, so what your name is, okay, where you're from, who is that elder in your life that has left an impression on you, and that one-liner that they're always known for saying. And then once you share that one-liner, then you'll be able to go in and, and just explain a, a bit more if you'd like to, okay? So, for example, if I was doing this, I would say, my name is Orly Waba from Brooklyn, New York, and the elder in my life that has left an impression is my grandfather. He's always known for saying, take what you want, but eat what you take. And I came to understand and recognize that he wasn't just talking about your food, but anything in your life. That's something that you're gonna go for. Make sure that you, you fully go, you put your complete all into it to not give up. And that's the lesson I took from him. So that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Who it is, that one-liner, that line that they're always known for saying, 
okay? And you can expand on it just a little bit, somewhere anywhere between 10 seconds to 15, 20 seconds about. So I hope that you guys will join this. It's gonna be really exciting. I'm putting out another video collaboration this week called Who Is Your Life Vest? We asked people from around the world to share who has been a life vest in their life, lifted them up when times were very, very hard. So make sure that you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, you'll get notification when the next video comes out, and I'd love for you to be part of this next video collaboration. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into the reading. And the reading is coming to us from January 31st. And the act goes as follows. Make a handmade birthday card for someone in your class and have everyone sign it. And the quote, I value the friend who for me finds time on his calendar, but I cherish the friend who for me does not consult his calendar by Robert Brault. And the reflection, celebrating people in our lives is a privilege. A birthday card does so much more than just acknowledge the date of someone's birth. It magically gives us as the giver an opportunity to reflect on the friendship we have, the lessons we've learned, the memories we've shared, and the gratitude we hold. That in and of itself is something to truly celebrate. While I was never much of a fan of my own birthday, there was no task I loved more than choosing a birthday card for someone else. I would spend hours breezing through the aisles of Hallmark, searching for the perfect words, the perfect card, and the perfect emotional force to embed into each word. What would I want and hope for someone to share with me on my birthday? I knew I had an opportune moment to brighten someone's day, and I wanted to take full advantage. Celebrating someone's birthday. Now, of course, I know the act says here to make a homemade card for someone in your class and have everyone sign it. Now, of course, COVID being here and everybody's situation being different, some of us may not be in school or may not be with our colleagues at work because we're working from home or whatever it may be. But even though you may not have the ability to have that physical card, you can still certainly celebrate another person's birthday and make them feel special, make them feel appreciated. Remind them about the awesome memories that you shared and, and the amazing times that you've had. And that's where this idea comes into play. So again, whether you're gonna do it digitally, whether you're calling them, whether you're making an opportunity for friends to join you virtually to wish them a happy birthday, there's something that each and every one of us can do to make people feel appreciated because especially, let's say for example, with kids, right? I, I know myself, you know, as a kid, you can't wait for your birthday. And in today's world, you're not even able to gather together with family and friends, which makes it really difficult. So how could you bring meaning? So there is this platform, which I'll show you in a moment, called VidHug. Now I stumbled on this platform, I would say several months back because someone sent me a link and they were creating a birthday, a video, a video birthday message for their niece. And they said, oh, she would really love it if you also added your video thoughts. So I was like, what is this cool platform? This is so awesome. Happens to be that I ended up utilizing VidHug, this incredible platform for our Dance for Kindness event with all of our Kindness Challenge videos. Like for example, the tribute to, the, to our elders, that's also done through VidHug. The Who's Your Life Fest that I'm gonna be putting out this week is also done through VidHug. And it is such an awesome platform. It's specifically amazing when you're celebrating somebody's birthday. So all you need to do when you're on the website is you can click that you're celebrating someone's birthday. You could put their age that they are and it creates for you a, a link, a customized link that you can share with friends, family, on whichever platform you want to share it with. And when people come, they click on it and it tells them, hey, we're making this really cool video for, to celebrate so-and-so's birthday. Keep it a secret. Don't say anything. Leave your message here. And all you need to do, you don't need to make a video on your phone and then send it to them. It takes a long time to have to sit now, take, download the video, edit the video. All you do is click record and you record it directly there on the platform and it gets submitted to the person that's creating it. And VidHug even goes as far as creating a montage of all of the people that submitted their video. I just personally use this for a friend of mine's birthday uh, just, this past, just this past month. And then another friend of mine used it for another friend's birthday. It is such an awesome platform. And so why am I sharing it? You can utilize this to create a birthday message, whether it be for friends, for family, or even if it's 
a really warm message that you want to send to maybe your grandma. Maybe you guys can't gather with your grandma because of COVID and you need to be careful and you're not going to become that close to one another to God forbid pass over the virus. You have the ability to make a powerful, inspiring message with people that you love to send to another person. And that will warm their heart in a way that I, I can't begin to explain to you. I've seen the impact that it's had on other people's lives. So I want to encourage you guys, again, whether you're going to do it through VidHug or whether you create it yourself, but the idea is there are ways for us to do these kinds of acts, even though we can't maybe gather together physically or we can't be in the same place. We can still allow people to know that we're thinking of them, that they're on our mind, that we care about them. So what an incredible, incredible opportunity. I hope you guys check it out. And now that you know how it works, you yourself can head on to the VidHug link that's right here in the video description and add your tribute to an elder in your life. So I'm really excited to see the messages that you guys send forward. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope that you join me again next week. I'll be doing, I'll be doing the raffle next week, so you definitely want to join. You don't know if it's going to be you that wins. Leave your comments, leave your thoughts and your feedback here in order to be easily entered in. And don't forget to check out the dance party at danceforkindness.com. Sign up for our newsletters on lifeessenside.com, uh, our daily kind, our monthly kindness flash. You can check those out there. Subscribe to our channel. Share this along with others. Help to spread the kindness and join whichever way that you can. We certainly need it in the world. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Remember, it's kindness that keeps the world afloat. Love you all. Mwah.